Yo, what's good guys, Coach Tech here. So today we got some more fans to review. Now these bad boys are from Arctic. As you can see, I got basically two. I'm gonna run you around 40 bucks. So I basically, the 40, around 40 bucks for a three pack. I'll have everything in the description below where to cop and whatnot. So I spent around like $80 for six fans. All right, so straight off the bat, man, you know, Arctic out here doing some extra lazy presentation, just the cardboard box. Now these come in white and black. Uh, these are basically the P12, PWM, blah, blah, blah. You guys see all this over here. Now for the, um, the specifications I'll have in the description below, but quickly I'll run through it. So we have fan speed from zero RPM. I guess you can turn them off to 2000, uh, to 2000 RPM. Uh, okay, bearing type, fluid dynamic bearing. Noise level, I'll have a zero, uh, 0 0.3 zone. Airflow 48 uh, CFM, 48 to 82 CFM. So I said, like like I said, everything I'll have in the description below basically about the specs of the fans. Uh, you can have a QR code here for the manual. It's actually pretty dope, but very simple presentation. I mean, the same thing here. It's not like, you know, these are the same fans basically. All right, so like I did say, I did cop them in white. Let's just get everything out the box. Jeez beast mode now these are 120 millimeter the packaging is what you know it is what it is uh all right so we got screws so these are argb fans so they don't come with a remote so you could essentially daisy chain them or just put them in a you know in a controller and whatnot these are not even eh, presentation i gotta give us you know it's pretty whack uh but anyways the fan itself feels you know it is what it is it feels a little you know a little you know, Chinese plastic, you know. But anyways, we have rubber grommets over here. Uh, same thing here, rubber grommets. Now, the, the fan itself is going to have an uh, RGB effect. The inside, I don't believe so as well. I don't know. I got to turn them on and see. And then on the back here, you'll have an RGB uh, effect on the fan. And then you do have the Arctic. Man, I almost said Antic for a second, but check it out. You do have that Arctic logo. Uh, for installation is very very simple like in all my videos I go over I know if you guys you know seen or know what now there's timestamps you guys can sit, skip through it uh, Very simple now. We have four pins over here PWM headers. We have a female as well as we have a male This male essentially is going to be a splitter. So for instance Right, this is you know, you could put whatever amount of fans you want just go on their website I'll, I'll have it as well uh, it's going to tell you exactly how many fans. I, mean, I believe this thing will probably support up to 20 fans. Uh, I will double check that as well. So now, essentially, how you connect them is this female from this fan, this female, you're just going to plug in this. You see these grooves here? You're just going to put them right here. And then you're basically just daisy chaining them depending on how many other fans you have. And my situation, my case supports six fans. So I'm going to daisy chain all of them basically put it six fans now this is to connect the fan and then obviously you're gonna want to plug in you know once you have everything connected you're gonna have one four pin sticking out you're gonna want to plug that into if you if you have a fan extension for your basically you're gonna plug that into your motherboard right your four pin uh, four pin PWM header on your motherboard. It could be a CPU fan header or whatever fan header is easier for you guys you're gonna plug this bad boy in you're gonna go into your bios and you're gonna you know, play around with the uh, PWM speeds, whichever you guys want. That's basically um, the simplif simplified way of uh, connecting with the fan for fan speed. Now, if you want the ARGB effects, now keep in mind your motherboard should have a three pin ARGB to use these uh, ARGB effects with your motherboard. Uh, does it say the support, which ones? But you know, I believe your typical, your ASUS, your Gigabyte, your MSI, all those basically stuff. I'll have uh, that in the description below as well. Same thing here, we're gonna daisy chain this. We're gonna take this four pin male, which is sticking out, and we're gonna plug this in to the three pin female, and you just line these bad boys up. You're gonna plug this in, voila. And then same thing, you're gonna daisy chain as many fans as you have, and then you're gonna plug this three pin ARGB onto your motherboard three pin ARGB to get the effects going. Now, like I said, it doesn't have a remote. It's, you know, it is what it is. Um, what I might do is I just daisy chain them and I'll just connect them as well and run through the colors and whatnot and let you guys know exactly which colors are supported. But uh, very simplified, like I said, it has a screw. Now for the manual, keep in mind, 
you could just uh, do the QR code here and you're going to their manual saving paper. I'm, I mean, it is what it is. This is a waste of paper anyways, putting that. But anyways, let me uh, get all these uh, connected and uh, let's see if these things are worth it. Let's go. All right, guys, so the ghetto paper towel test is installed just to basically show the amount of air pressure that's being blown from the fans into the computer. Now, we are running at 1,000 RPM. I got to say, these fans are flipping whisper quiet, man. These things honestly shocked me. Let's check out sounds. Six fans installed, running at 40 decibels. Pretty fuego, I gotta say, at 1,000 RPM. Um, let's turn it up. This is slightly at like 1200. Whisper quiet. Let's turn it up to do, do, do. That was at 1400, so it's going around like 13 plus to 1400. Again, running nice. Now I'm gonna turn it up to max, and I gotta say, even at max, man, these, these are not bad. They honestly shock me. Now max is 1800. beautiful they sound honestly they sound hella smooth at 1800 you can check my other fans the other fans that are running at 1800 you hear the the motor spin you hear them all sounding crazy these things man for airflow i gotta say these things honestly shock me these things are super nice super quiet super smooth you guys saw how much air they push and even at max rpm they they sound crispy they honestly do sound crispy. These honestly, these fans honestly did surprise me. Let's check out some RGB effects. Let's go. All right, so before I run through the colors, I just want to give you guys again a heads up. If you don't have a three pin ARGB port, these fans essentially are not going to work. So make sure you do have a three pin ARGB on your motherboard or you have a three pin ARGB controller. In this demonstration, I am going to be using it with a controller. So the integrated colors are going to come from the controller and not like essentially from the fans. Now, if you want the, you know, the fans individually, Basically through the colors, you would have to use the MOBO software with the three pin ARGB. But if you do have a controller laying around with the three pin ARGB, it's gonna run all the effects off of that controller. So right now we do have it a solid white. Now, of course, you, you don't have any brightness adjustment and other fans, you know, the fans that basically give you a remote control. I wish that these at least gave, gave us an option, came with a remote and a controller and we could just switch through colors or with the hub. But you basically have white, you have these effects. Now I gotta say, the LEDs are dope. The brightness is nice. The fan LEDs are nice. So they're not bad, man. I'm, I'm really, this Arctic fans really did shock me. The noise is beautiful. They're not loud whatsoever. They have, they go all the way up to 1800. So I'm sure it's at 2000, but it, I was hitting 1800 on the, um, I'm from when I was reading from my bios, but they sounded hella good. Uh, let's see, what else we got? We have this effect. Now, of course, if you, you could turn them off with this controller, you could just hold the, the the controller button just hold it the the mode button and it's going to basically turn them off they have these effects again leds are looking hella nice especially for the price man i'm honestly if you if you're looking to get white these are not bad man these are really really good dope especially for the price too you have these effects you got blue then we have these we have red blue so like a purple and back to white and i said i'm just cycling through all of them again and then we'll just leave it at like what is this rainbow but yeah let me know what you guys uh thought about these uh arctic fans i honestly they actually did surprise me i would definitely recommend them for the fan speed the fan noise 
the amount of air they push the leds on the fans are actually pretty dope but let me know what you guys think in the comments below guys as always i'm coach the tech i'm gonna catch cats next time deuces